Hey friends, big news. Google's Bard can now generate images, and I've put it through a massive test run with hundreds of images. We're talking real-world scenarios here, from portraits and full body shots in different lighting to intricate isometric and 3D art. And yes, we're even checking out how it does with comic book art. Let's begin. I kicked off my tests by playing around with lighting in the prompts, and the results? Incredibly photorealistic. Bard also nails it with facial expressions. Creating multiple characters in one prompt is usually a challenge for image generators, but Bard does it well. Here I wanted both characters to match my description accurately. Guess what? The AI nailed it, perfectly crafting images with two characters just as I described. Generating full body images, though, was a bit tricky. My first go didn't quite hit the mark. The feet were cut off. Then I mentioned shoes should be on the ground, and boom, I got a complete full body image. Now talking about camera angles, Bard seems to adhere to them. But aspect ratios? Not so much. Regardless of specifying 16.9 or exact pixel dimensions, all images came out square. Now let's talk about perspective and depth. I managed to create this amazing image of trees converging towards the sky and a stunning depth blur effect with a butterfly. And when it comes to art styles, Bard's a star, especially in comic book art. It's funny, give it a generic description and you get Superman-esque characters. But ask for Superman and Hulk in one scene? It's a no from Bard probably a copyright thing. Bard's also pretty slick with isometric images and 3D designs, but it does sometimes randomly refuse prompts. The safety filter's a bit unpredictable. Overall though, I'm pretty stoked about Bard. It's powered by Imogen 2 and the quality's top notch. This is a tool I'd feel confident using in public projects and at work. If only it could handle specific aspect ratios, it'd be the perfect replacement for Midjourney and DALL-E 3 for my needs. Have you tried it yet? Let me know your thoughts and tips. Also, consider subscribing if you like AI news and tutorials that get straight to the point.